everyone, uh, my name is Kelvin and welcome back to another watercolor tutorial for Procreate. So in this video we're going to paint a really simple whale shark illustration and uh, the process here is similar to the whale tutorial but it's actually much easier. So I'm starting out here with a blank watercolor paper texture and in this case I'm using the St. Petersburg texture but you can use any of the paper textures. And uh, for the brushes, uh, I'm going to be using the free galaxy brush kit and I'm going to be using the regular brush kit and I'll put links to everything I use in the description down below. So step one here is just going to be lowering the opacity of the sketch. I just want it to be sort of barely visible just so it doesn't get in my way too much and then I'm going to select a layer underneath the paper texture and I'm going to start out by actually uh, using one of the free galaxy brushes and um, I'm going to show you a little trick you can do with this one that I figured out the other day. So if I have the winter nebula brush selected and I choose the sort of desaturated blue color that I want this um, a whale shark to be and I start painting, you'll notice right away that it doesn't paint that blue color. It's actually painting just a bunch of these random rainbow colors. And that's because this brush is designed for painting galaxies. And uh, I don't want to paint a galaxy. I actually just want this kind of uh, rough kind of pattern that this brush creates, but I want it to be in the color that I choose. So we're going to modify a setting on this brush. So let me undo that brush stroke. I'm going to go back to the uh, brush library here and here's the winter nebula brush. If I just tap on it, it's going to open up the brush settings and I'm going to modify something. I'm going to go down here to color dynamics and you're going to see something called stroke color jitter. Just set that to zero and now also you're going to see color pressure and set that one to zero as well and then click done. And now we've created a modified version of this brush that doesn't paint in rainbow colors. It just paints in the color that you've selected. And uh, this is really handy if you want to create washes that are extremely variegated with lots of layering of light and dark textures. So now using our modified winter nebula brush uh, at a pretty large size, I'm just going to roughly fill out uh, the outline of the sketch just like that. And I'm pressing hard and soft because I want to get different levels of uh, opacity there. And when I zoom in here, I really have a nice texture. I'm really happy with that, but I do think uh, I want to see if I can go over it one more time in just a few areas and that'll add in some dark splotches and also some light splotches. So there we go. I'm happy with the level of variegation here in this wash. And uh, just for the sake of the video, I'm going to increase the opacity of the sketch just so you can see it better. Now obviously my wash goes way over the edge of my sketch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the uh, wash layer here is selected and I'm going to grab the eraser and I'm going to set the eraser brush to the fine liner pen. And I'm actually going to cut this out. So at a pretty small size, I'm just going to go along the sketch and just carefully cut out the outline of the shark. Now obviously I need to separate the shark from the extra watercolor around the edge. And there's a few ways to do it and I did cover uh, one method in the whale tutorial but I'm going to cover a slightly different trick in this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the shark and paste it on a different layer. So I'm going to grab the selection tool and I'm going to set it to automatic. And I'm going to zoom out here so I can see the whole shark. And uh, I'm just going to click and drag until my selection fills up the uh, sort of silhouette of the shark. And you want to make sure you don't see any, any blue showing through. It should be completely uh, this kind of yellowy orange color. And I'm going to go to copy and paste. And what it did is it cut out the shark from that layer and pasted a copy of it on a different layer. So before we had one layer, now it's actually made a new layer here. So let me deselect everything. Now if I go to the layers panel and just turn off the uh, background wash that we made, we're left with the perfect outline or silhouette of our whale shark. And uh, since we don't need this background wash anymore, I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. And next, I'm going to start laying down some shading here. So uh, I think it might help to turn the sketch back on, but I'll lower the opacity maybe to around 50%. And I'm going to go to the selection tool, set it to freehand, and I'm going to do the shadows here. So I'm just going to follow along the body like that and then back up like that. I'm going to go to Hue, Saturation, and Brightness, and I'm just going to darken that, just so I have some contrast against the body of the shark. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing over here. Now for the tail, it's very similar. Um, I'm just going to try to get some contrast here. So, you know, usually what you would do if this part was very light, you'd do the same trick that I did up there in the fins. But it looks like I already have like a random dark splotch there. So I'm going to do the inverse. So what I'm going to do this time is instead of adding a shadow, I'm going to add a highlight to define this edge. And I'm just going to select that edge like that. 
hue, saturation, and brightness, and I'm going to lighten it because that's already dark enough. I just want to give some uh, contrast there. Um, I want to add some shadow to the nose there, so I'm going to make a selection like this, curve it back around, and then feather it out, and I'm just going to darken the tip of the nose there. I want to darken the side of it a little bit. I'll make a selection like that, feather it out, hue, saturation, and brightness, and just darken that. Now next, I want to define this sort of fin on, along the back. And I think it's uh, best to do that with the selection tool, but you could paint it on if you wanted to. Uh, but I'm going to grab the selection tool and set it to freehand. And I'm going to start over here. And I'm going to try to follow that bottom line there all the way up. I'm going to try to follow it back along the top, sort of define this fin and then that fin. So I've just selected that sort of fin area. And then I'm going to go to hue, saturation, and brightness. And I'm just going to brighten it like that. Now with all the shading done, um, I can move on to doing some blending. So let me go back to the brushes here. And I've been using the Galaxy Kit uh, up until this point. But I'm going to switch over in, uh, into the regular watercolor brush kit. And I'm going to grab the Water Blender brush. And uh, I'm going to use it at a pretty small size. And I'm just going to blur the edges of these shadows just so they're a little bit smoother. And I'll do the same thing to all the shadows. There we go, that looks pretty good. Um, just to get a better look at this, I'm gonna turn off the sketch just for now. And now you can start to see how I sort of define the uh, back of the shark here. And uh, it doesn't look very convincing for watercolor. So what I'm gonna do is use that watercolor uh, water blender brush, and I'm just gonna break it up in a few areas just so it's a little bit softer. There, so I didn't completely soften it up. Just in a few areas, I sort of broke that hard edge. Uh, and it makes it look a little bit more convincing. And next, I want to give this shark, uh, the silhouette of the shark, a hard edge. So I'm going to grab the selection tool and set it to automatic. And I'm just going to click and drag out here in the white because I want to select all the white. And I just want to make sure that that selection doesn't encroach into the outline of the shark. It's doing it a little bit over here, but I think that's okay. And I'm going to go to feather. And I'm going to feather it out just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit because I'm trying to catch a little bit of that edge. So there we go, I can zoom in on this edge, and now I'm gonna to go to Hue, Saturation, and Brightness, and because I feathered that, I can darken it, and you'll see that it darkens the edge of that. And that gives us a really nice, consistent, hard uh, watercolor edge all around the uh, silhouette of the shark here. And next, I wanna add all those kind of white dots that are on these whale sharks. So I'm gonna make a new layer above everything, and I'm gonna go back to the uh, Galaxy Brush Kit, the free Galaxy set. And uh, I'm going to go to the uh, responsive star flicks brush. And I want to use a really white color, basically pure white. And uh, using that uh, on the separate layer, I'm just going to add some random speckles to this. And once that's done, uh, I'm going to go back to the regular watercolor brush kit. And this is what I mean about how it can be confusing, how I switch back and forth. Uh, but I just want to use the fine liner pen now. And I'm going to set that pretty small. And I'm going to keep the same pure white color. And uh, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm just going to make sort of lines of dots. So I'm just going to press like this. And see how I made those dots sort of in a line? I'm going to do that at pretty regular spacing just along the back of this. Now after I've done those sort of dotted lines, I'm going to zoom in here to the head. And I'm going to try to make a fade of dots, kind of like a pointillism uh, gradient. So I'm going to start very lightly and then put more and more dots so it's really dense up here at the tip of the nose. And there we go, this one is all done. Uh, as you can see, it prints out really nicely and using the Galaxy Brush Kit in this uh, method uh, does give it a really nice convincing watercolor texture. And uh, I put links to all the materials I use, all the brushes and textures uh, in the description down below. And uh, as always, thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.